that tutorial is going to be how to make use of two emulator to communicate with two android emulator first of all we have to start off the first emulator and second emulator all we are going to do we are going to come to windows android virtual device manager it comes up then come click on the avd then go to start then click on launch click on launch it will come up and start launching after it has finished after the image has finished launching and you click on start again to launch the second emulator that's all after i finish the songs finish the second emulator my emulators here are up here and ready for me to begin sorry that is so I also have to minimize this and these are the emulators so basically an emulator has a kind of like a telnet number so if you take a look at the top of the number at the top of the bar what about this bar in the top of this bar here you find out that there is a number 554 and in the second emulator there is a number 556 those are their numbers the numbers by the which they communicate there is no more things to communicate with now let me take a look first let me show you an example here i want to send a message from emulator 556 to emulator 554 all I'll have to do, I'll just come to message. I'll just come up. You don't have any setup, anything. That's what it set for you. You just know these codes. That is the only thing that you just have to know. Everything is kind of like slow. I don't know why. While instead of using this emulator, let's give this one a try also and see. Who comes to message? Voila, this one is working. So let's just press the home key for it to disappear. This is it. Voila. So I'm going to use this one to send a message to this one. So I'm going to, to add new message on top. Then to the number, this number, this number. Appearing in this number, and I would enter it here five, 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 six. Then I'm going to the message. Hi, now I'm going to send it. And keep your eyes on the notification bar. Your eyes on the notification bar here. The message will just pop out there. And as you can see, hi, the message just came up. The message I have sent from here to here. So I can be able to drag here, click on the notification button message itself, and uh, the message is going to come up and show you hi, hi. So I'm going to reply back to this. And I'm um, fine. Life, sorry. How is Android? And I'm going to send it to him to him a little. How is Android programming? And it's going to come up to this issue up here. As you can see at the top of the notification bar Android programming. So let's we'll click on the back key and then click on the message there. How is programming? So I can press him back at programming. It's 
Cool. Right back. And the message will come up again for my new school. I want to be interacting, chatting, 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 and so on and so forth. So that the video, I'm going to make a short video here. Let me just cut this crap and let me show you the next, the next explore that I did in this. So I'm going to click on home key and home key body to two. So basically, I'm going to make a call from this just in the top. How am I going to do that? I'm going to go to click on here. Okay, I think maybe it's not here. But let me take you back to the message. I'm going to see the dial pad, but from the message you can call. So all you have to use from the message, press the call sign. And the next thing you are going to see on the other emulator, the call is coming in. Trying to pick up, and as you can see, dialing, and as you can see from here again, receiving, dialing and incoming call, dialing and incoming call. All you just have to do is just pick the call up, and the time will start. This time and this time, and the counting the when you finish the call up. So, this is all what I explore on Android to on Android in little today. Or maybe next time I'm going to come up with more on this Android in little. So, thank you very much for watching.